My name is April, and I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's disease at the age of 43. I am 50 now. Just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I'm a nurse. I worked in a level one um, high acuity trauma center for many years in the emergency department. I'm also a mother to four children, ages 26, 19, 8, and 5. So if you do the math there, you'll quickly figure out that I was pregnant approximately seven months after diagnosis of Parkinson's. I was able to have a normal, healthy pregnancy, birth, and child, all while taking Rotary. I'll tell you about that on another day, because that's another long story all by itself. Today, I am here to tell you about something very exciting. I am the eighth person nationally to receive the newly approved, FDA approved, 24-hour continuous dopamine subcutaneous infusion. I probably mix those words up. I love this thing. It has been life-changing. I don't have to forget or to remember to take medicines, which was really hard for me with two young children. I was taking 12 Rotary a day. Also, I was taking immediate release one to two times a day. And then, again, just trying to remember all that. I also have been diagnosed with gastroparesis, slow gut, slow motility. All those are mean the same thing. And so my need for dopamine was a lot higher because I don't think I was metabolizing all of that. It was just sitting there. So with the new pump, I get this continuous dose all day long, all night long, and I've had no highs. I've had no lows. Normal. The first day was a little tricky because, like I said, I have slow metab, mean slow gut, slow motility. So we started a little bit higher than we should have. Just FYI, you might want to keep that in mind if you have the same thing I do. You might want to tell your doctor, hey, let's start low and work your way up. Because we started me off at probably half as much as I needed. Um, or double, not half. Double as much as I needed. And it got a little crazy that night. It's like I was on a rocket ship ride, as my nurse ambassador Sarah says. Um, but after that, and after we figured out what we needed to do, um, my physician, Dr. Iyer, with Memory and Movement of Charlotte, has been absolutely amazing. We have been able to program the dose that I need, and I have been maintained. So, I went on a Facebook page, a support group for Parkinson's patients, and I started answering a couple questions about this pump, and I got a lot of questions. And so I said, hmm, I need an avenue to discuss this because it's new. And so far, I think there's only like 46 or 47 people in the U.S. that have received this pump. I was the eighth. Anyways, I've been waiting on this thing for two years, at least two years. So excited. So I'm going to show you what this pump looks like. Let me warn you, it's a little interesting. So, if you were born before 1984, you will understand what I'm about ready to say. Atari called and it wants its controller back. I'm just kidding, Bobby. I love your pump. It's amazing. It's just a little outdated. That's okay. It works like a champ. And it's easy to use. You cannot mess this up. Even as a nurse, I'm saying, I know I'm a nurse, but I also have Parkinson's. And this is easy. You turn on this little button here, and you've got three different doses you can give yourself. The physician will set those. High, base, and low. All you have to do is just scroll through here. Hit your menu. It asks you what you want to do. Change your rate, put that select. Yeah, I want to change that rate. 
and you say, I need the high dose, or I need my base rate, or I need my low dose. So I'm on the high dose right now because I'm a little high strung and a little nervous trying to do this video. Because did I mention I'm 50 years old starting a YouTube video? Anyways, it also has an extra dose you can give yourself. And it will ask you twice. Are you sure you want an extra dose? Yes, I do. I'm not going to hit that because I don't need it right now. It has a battery here on the back. And it also comes with an extra battery. So, while you have one in your system, always be charging the other one. Switch them out every two to three days, usually. So, when and if you get approved for this system, you will receive a nurse ambassador. She will come to your house or he will come to your house and they will discuss all this with you. They will get your meds ordered and one day you'll show up and there'll be two huge boxes at your door. And I'm talking huge. One box will be your medications that have to be refrigerated. But you can take out, there's multiple of these small boxes in the large box. So I take out one box a week because you have to use one vial every day and one syringe every day. So these are good left out on the counter for 28 days. So take one out, let it sit there, and you can't use it until 30 minutes after out of refrigeration. So remember that. So that's why I take it out usually a day before I run out and let it sit there every night and then the next day I can use it. So there's my medicine. It also comes with this little contraption here that I've already put on the vial. But you pop that little lid off and you take your 10 ml syringe, screw it on there, lift it up like this, extract your medication into the vial and then unscrew this you're going to put it on the little tubing that it comes with. Very easy. And then you're going to put it into your pump. Now, I don't need to change mine right now, but I will later. And I think I'll do a video about that when I do it. So you can see the whole system. Woo, that's crazy. Um, so this right here is your injector. It is comes with one of these you take out so you won't hurt yourself. You can take the paper off, and if you see right there, a little small little needle is in there, and you just put it on your abdomen, your belly, your stomach, whatever you want to call it, wherever you want it, you need to clean it. I will tell you, clean it with alcohol, and I'm going to tell you a trick. So first of all, my son is a type 1 diabetic, age 5 got diagnosed in January of this year, 2024. So I have learned a lot about pumps and a lot about adhesives. Even though as a nurse, it's totally different because in the emergency department, you take care of these people for a few hours. Back when I was working in the emergency department. Now it stays, but anyways, that's a whole. Whew. Anyway, I say anyways a lot. Adhesives. I have an endocrinologist for my son who is an amazing person and has been doing this for a very long time. And he taught me a trick. My son was having such horrible skin irritation that he was bleeding because it was so raw. And to the point where I was going to stop his pump because it just bothered me so bad. But he had taught me a trick that you use nasal Flonase. Yes, that's correct. Nasally injected Flonase. But you don't inject it nasally. It's just how it's sold. You take the Flonase, pump some on your site where you're going to inject this little thing. After you've cleaned it with alcohol and you let it air dry. It's an antihistamine. That's all it is. And it makes it a topical antihistamine. So you don't have to ingest anything. You don't have to nasally ingest anything. Just put it on your skin. 
Real easy. After it dries, you put the little thing here. It will have little arrows. And whichever way you're going to put the pump, you got to put the arrows facing. So if I want to put it on this side of my body, arrows face this way. I will put it on this side of my body. Little arrows. Uh, there you go. Little arrows have to be facing this way. Okay. So, real easy. It depends on where you stick it. This thing can sting. Sometimes it, you can't even feel it. Other times, it's like, oh, holy smokes. But anyways, love it still. Can't make me say bad things. And after you're finished with that, you hook yourself up, press start on this little pump, and you're good to go. 24 hours continuous infusion. Did I say that yet? I just cannot say enough nice things about this pump. I don't have anything negative to say. I do have to make fun of this pump because it does look like it's a little outdated. That's okay. I do want to let you know that my neurologist is Dr. Iyer, and he works at Memory and Movement in Charlotte. He had two patients. One was number four and one was number eight in the whole nation to get this pump. Two patients in the top 10. He is the most dedicated neurologist, movement disorder specialist that I have ever heard of. And his practice is even just as amazing. I do not work for them. They do not pay me to say these things. I do not work for Avi, Vilev, none of these companies. I am just a patient who has Parkinson's, who has dreamed of this because I knew it was going to be great. Anyways. So, if it doesn't go well, if you're going to get this pump, if it doesn't go well, take a deep breath and figure it out. Because I think that if you give it yourself time and you have help, you can make it work. And that's why I started this channel, because... Me being a nurse and me having a son that has type 1 diabetes with his own insulin pump, I think I have a special kind of view. And I want everybody to be as happy as I am because we're in this together. You can't have Parkinson's and not have friends that have Parkinson's, whether those friends be on Facebook or Instagram or online in another way or locally. You need someone that understands. And I think I can help. So, I'm going to start doing these videos every few days, every day, whatever's needed. And I want this to be a joint effort. I want you guys to ask me questions. I want, I want to ask you guys questions. If you guys received this pump or you are receiving it and you have something different that you want to ask, and if I don't know, I'll find it out for you. Promise. And if there's no if there's no answer, we'll figure it out together. Because somewhere along the line, there's always answers. There is one question that I have heard very much. And it is, how do you wear this thing? So, I'm going to show you what I've been doing for the ladies. If I don't knock everything over and unplug my computer and kill it. Here, let's plug that in. So, I have a Kendra Scott, give her credit, belt buckle bag that I have been using. That is amazing. So, let me get all these things out. Plug that down. Bear with me. Remember, I have bargains on some little crazy. Um, here's my belt buckle bag. I'm gonna stand up so you can see. I'll put it over. Don't be laughing at me. It's 
especially people who know me and up rising. Okay. Here's the bump. We're going to put it in here, this little bag. We're going to flip this over. Bam. Got a little holder for your bump. I do have parky hands. Okay, so later. Anyways, here we go. There's my bag. So this works, works really good. I have a few other tricks up my sleeve. I'm going to wait to share those um, as we go along because I hope you come back and see me. And I hope we start this wonderful relationship together and enjoy the journey. Again, let me know if you need anything. Questions, answers, relationship. Thanks for listening. I hope to help you soon. Bye.